Next dish was inspired by my recent trip back to Hanoi. It's a very traditional northern dish called Jaka Lavong, and there's a whole street dedicated to this one dish. Now it's traditionally cooked with snakehead fish, but in Australia you use Malawai fillets or even barramani, just a nice firm white flesh fish. Now I'm going to make a really unique marinade here using dill, curry powder, turmeric and also yogurt. Now I think the yogurt is the French influence, so a bit of sugar in there, just around a couple of teaspoons. Dissolve that with a bit of fish sauce, just to get that balance of sweet and salty. In there, a couple of tablespoons. Dissolve that through. A bit of garlic, just around one clove of garlic, finely, finely diced. Once that dissolved, throw that in. Now I've got turmeric, beautiful colour, a bit of sweetness to it. Just around a tablespoon of that. Look at that colour changing already and it's smelling divine. And with a bit of punch here, you can use just red curry powder or just yellow curry powder is okay as well. It's a bit of flavour there. Once that's dissolved, now I can smell that all coming out now. Now I'm going to put in my yoghurt. Now you can use plain yoghurt or just the natural Greek yoghurt's fine as well. Just no flavouring. Add that dairy richness to it. Thick sauce. So the sugar's sweet, the fish sauce is a bit salty, and you've got the dairy, which is a little bit tart and rich. Lovely. And dill as well, which was also influenced by the French. I'm just going to just lightly pick that in. Now in Vietnam, dill is a lot more subtle and delicate. In Australia, it's a bit more strong and pungent, so I'm not going to put too much in. And I'll throw some onto my noodles as well for freshness. It's good. Now that's a really fantastic marinade. Now you don't have to use fish, you can use some nice king prawns or tiger prawns as well. So to put that on the side, let that dill open up in the marinade. I'm going to bash some spring onions, just the white part only. I'm going to just slice that really in big chunks. Throw that into my mortar. Nice heavy granite mortar there. Every household has to have one of these. And it's quite therapeutic, just pounding the paste, the spring onion paste. That's pounded pretty well. Throw that into your marinade. And don't be afraid to use your hands on this one. Throw it in there. Gorgeous. Mix that all up. Looking good. Give it a bit of a taste test. Oh, yum. I'm going to just use that as a dip. All right, I'm going to finely slice my Malawai fillet. So I've left the skin on, that's okay, good texture. So just nice big pieces, sharp, sharp knife. Gorgeous. And throw your fish straight into the marinade, coating all of the fish. Just coat all the fish with a beautiful marinade and let that sit for around 20 minutes in the fridge. Now when you're pan frying fish or prawns or anything, make sure that the pan's quite hot before you put the oil in. Now this chef's pan has a non-stick ceramic interior, so it's three times tougher than any non-stick pan out there. So that's quite medium heated. I'll put some oil in, just a bit of vegetable oil, not too much. Make sure the pan's coated with the oil. And I'm just gonna pan fry my Malawai fillets skin side first, just for a couple of minutes. Just on medium to high heat, not too high. Throw that in there. Now you don't have to worry that the skin's gonna stick to the pan because it's got a ceramic non-stick interior. Perfect for this dish. Couple of minutes on the skin side. Once that turns nice golden brown and a little bit crisp, I'm gonna turn him over. Okay, that's it. Oh, that's looking fantastic. Nice color, it's a little bit crispy. Turn that one over too. Now when you turn it over, you only need to cook it for an extra minute or so. Look at that. Now that's looking great. I'm gonna deglaze my pan with a bit of fish stock. 
and we're going to finish it with a bit of citrus, some lime juice, just for that zing at the end. Wow, this is smelling fantastic. Throw that in there. Another 30 seconds and that'll be absolutely perfect. Now that's looking great. I'm going to turn off the heat and I transfer the fish to the, my fluffy rice vermicelli noodles. Now there's a bed of noodles on there and some spring onion and some more dill. Look at that. Whew, the colours are just popping out, smelling absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Now don't waste the sauce here. I'll deglaze the pan, just drizzle that over. The sauce is going to be absorbed by the vermicelli noodles. Yum. Okay, just to finish, some really crispy fried shallots, some crushed roasted peanuts, and I'm just going to pick a bit more dill, chisel the top there. That is my jaka lavong, my malawai fillets cooked with turmeric and dill.